Number 47, determine the molarity of each of the following solutions. And then we have letter C. So in this case, they gave us 0.2074 grams of calcium hydroxide, which is CaOH2. And they told us that this was in 40 mils of solution. We need to find out what the molarity is. Formula, guys, it's this right here. Molarity equals moles of solute divided by liters of solution. Most, uh, it's usually br broken down by just saying capital M equals moles over liters. So I just say moles divided by liters. But just know that the moles is always the solute and the liters is always the solution. The solute is always the solid that's going to be placed in the solution. So I'm just going to say that overall, my formula is going to be capital M equals moles over liters. So if we're trying to solve for the molarity, I need to have the moles and I need to have the liters. But the numbers that they gave me, well, 0 0.2074, that's in grams. That's not a mole value. And they gave me 40 mils. That's not a liter, right? So the first thing is that I have to convert these two values in order to get moles and liters. Now let's see, the first thing I'm going to do is let's just go from the grams that they gave me to the moles, right? We know how to go from a gram to a mole, right? Here's my little trick down at the bottom. If you're starting off with grams, which is what we have, and we want to get to moles, and I put X here, meaning that it's of the same compound. So if you have grams of water, you're going to find the moles of water. If you have grams of calcium hydroxide, you're going to find the moles of calcium hydroxide. So going from gram to mole, we would divide by the molar weight. So I need to find out what the molecular weight is of CaOH2. We've done that before, guys, right? So let's just say, what's the molecular weight of CaOH2? Use your periodic table. I'm just going to do it quickly for you guys here. All right, so I have a periodic table in front of me. Calcium weighs about 40, and you could round your numbers. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to try to get the most specific one. And then let's see, we're, we got the hydrogen. There's two of them. So I get a molecular weight of roughly 74 point zero nine six gram per mole that's the unit for molecular weight now we said before that all we have to do to go from grams to moles is just divide my number by the molecular weight the gram that they gave us was zero point two zero seven four so i'm just going to take zero point two zero seven four and divide it by the molecular weight that we found out seventy four 0.096. What do we get, guys? Let's see. 0 0.2074 divided by the molecular weight. 0 0.002799. Right? 2799. We can cut it off there. That's fine. And that's now in the unit of moles. And that's CaOH2. Okay. So... We found out this number, right? We found out 0 0.002799 is the mole value. Now we just got to find the liters. So that's like step number two. They gave me 40 mils, or more specifically 40 point dot dot mils, and I have to convert to liters. Well, here's a little trick down here. If you started off with mils, and you need to go to liter, right? Here's the mill, here's the liter. I'm going this way. I am dividing by a thousand. So all I gotta do is just take that number and divide by a thousand. Or you could move the decimal place over to the left three times. It doesn't matter. So this would be the same as zero point, uh, we'll do zero four zero zero zero. Right? One, two, three. Yep, perfect. And that's in liters. Now I know the bottom number. Okay, let's calculate it. Molarity is 
0 0.002799 divided by 0 0.04000, molarity is, and maybe I'll just make this a little bigger, capital M equals 0 0.002799 divided by 0 0.0400. I get 0 0.06998, and that's it. The unit for molarity is either a capital M, so I could have just said like a capital M here, or you could do the mole over liter. It doesn't matter. They're both equivalent, and that's it. That's the molarity for this answer. Pretty cool. So just know that you, you know how to get a molecular weight. That was like the extra, you know, add on here. And just remember all of your conversions because they're coming back. We always got to convert. All right. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for viewing this video. I hope I'm helping you out in your chemistry class. Have an awesome day. You guys rock. See you later.